When people talk about Animal Crossing fans, there are usually two groups brought up. Someone who eh, can't understand the interest but doesn't really bother with the series since they themselves would rather play something else. And someone who really gets it, like they have a bunch of games and favorite villagers they hold dearly, and they've probably played it since childhood. But I'm somewhere in the middle. I've never had or played an Animal Crossing game. The most I've done is watch a couple of Let's Plays of other people's experiences. I don't know any characters in particular other than Isabel because, well, look at her. Even with the upcoming game, which looks great, I'd really rather watch people play and talk about it rather than do it myself. So I know just enough about the series to appreciate it, but I don't have an emotional attachment to it. So what better place to begin this series? And before I begin, here's a quick disclaimer that I'm doing this for fun and potentially as a learning opportunity for myself and other artists. If you disagree, I encourage you to let me know why in the comments. Not too complicated, but the colors work really well. I think my only issue would be the shirt. Very cute looking. Oh, not a big fan of that shirt. Oh, I just, I just don't like looking at him. Very simple design. There's like a lot of things that could be improved here. I don't think leopard goes very well. The fashion seems sort of out of my depth. Like maybe I'm the one who doesn't get it. Baked bread with a bit of honey on it. I can appreciate the faded turquoise. Rock Lee, the big fan of Guy Fieri. I like that shade of jade, but the shirt. I thought she was a special character. I'm surprised she's a villager. There's that shirt again, though it does match better. Perfectly fine. Maybe more from a distance rather than up close. Oh wait, I like him. The symbol colors, the yellow highlights, polka dot pattern on a shirt actually kind of works. I just kind of want to move on. Oh my God, her eyes, very cute. Some kind of abstract painting. It actually works fairly well. I can't say I'm a fan. Oh, okay, I like her. This shade of blue definitely goes well with that green jacket. I like this look for a tiger. Oh my god. It kind of looks like her nose is swollen, but other than that, pretty solid. Man, the bees have been pretty good so far. Really like how that lavender and purple and yellow comes together. Her face scares me. I don't know why there aren't more cows. He's all right. I don't know what's going on with his face. Oh, I like her. She's good. Pretty unique. I think we have a really good mouse design for once. Very excellent chicken. I especially like how her vest matches her little ears. Not a huge fan of that shirt or his ear color. Like the, like the blue one, he's not that bad. I think as long as you desaturate the shirt, he would make a perfectly acceptable duck. His head looks like bread. It's a little mismatched, but it kind of adds to its charm. A very nice pink color scheme with a little purple. Love the shirt. Love the black and white. Just excellent. She is perfectly fine. Simple, but cute. Pretty iconic, actually. I like the roughness of her shapes. A little generic for a dog, but it's passable. Mm, okay. He looks very pleasant. He's not even wearing boots. What? What are you even wearing? That shirt is hurting my eyes. Change it and we'll be good. You know what? You're doing your own thing. I like the digital gimmick. That green does not go with that pale white. I can respect his vibe. Oh, she looks like that other chicken, but her shirt actually works much better. I would make the horns a little more golden. Aww. I like his design, but I want to make it very clear that I don't respect him. Maybe it's the lion template. I just... That face is wigging me out. The name is simple, the appearance is very simple. It's not often you can see someone pull off camo. Can't complain. What is going on with that outfit? Clearly the most valuable frog villager there is. She's okay. Again, the proportions. You can stay. You're good. I'm a big fan of the mint and chocolate chip color scheme. Her eyes have a green outline for some reason. Very nice. Eh. Why does she look like the good dinosaur and Kermit the Frog? Pretty good, though she is based on an existing character. I don't know how I feel about those green highlights, but I think she's okay. He's perfect for what he is. This is definitely some kind of abomination against God. I like the little Sanrio thing she's got going on. He looks like he's seven years old and I love him. The fact that he looks like a Simpsons character isn't doing him any favors. She's just chilling. The Sanrio characters are good. Like 
really good. Eyebrows and winged eyeliner makes her look like a friend. I think she's one of those lesbian icons I've heard so much about. Those old Korean harabaji from my church. I don't like that she's making the uwu face at me. I don't trust that. I cannot stand you. I like his style. Missed opportunity to give them mutton chops. Exhale. Oh, she's cute. Kind of looks like a clown though. Pretty standard. Eh, all right. He looks like he would commit tax fraud. Don't know about that shirt pattern. I want this guy as a plush. She is really rocking that pastel aesthetic. That yellow. I don't think I like men enough to like him. He's definitely the one helping the other one commit tax fraud. I think she's my favorite. Did he lose his nose in the war by Shonen King? A uh, Adorable. The colors on his shirt make him seem more Italian, if anything. I just want to take a napkin and wipe off that red on his beak. He is excellent. He's all right. You put eyeshadow on a baby. Where is his nose? You know those modern animated movies where they really want to make pigs' mouths as far as possible from their nose? Pretty good. I feel bad for anteaters, man. You deserve a much better shirt. You also deserve a much better shirt. Can someone please help this animal out of Sephora? I trust him. He looks like a boat. The really good monkey. Sometimes bullying is acceptable. Make the blue stripes in the shirt a little more purple and she would be perfect. Who keeps putting those eyes in these designs? That is what an eight year old would wear. They should do more older villagers. You're getting shoved into the locker along with that other one. The proportions are actually not bad here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, he would definitely call me some kind of slur. You really can't go wrong with these frogs. Perfectly functional gay disaster. I like him and his shirt. Interesting. Those lips. Ugh. Every animal should have eyebrows. Back in the 90s. Oh my god, she's so cute. He's better than the other lions I've seen, but they all look so similar. I love that I'm looking at two frogs right now. Pretty good. Solid. Sanrio, good. Oh, he's definitely one of my favorites. Very nice. Love the palette. Love the flower. He's cool. Love her. She looks a little too much like a person. They really captured the essence of cat. Good blue. Skip, love the hat. The green ears are bugging me. Goth queen? A flamingo. Aww. She's alright. Can she not look right at me. Same as the other one. Reminds me of uh, Brazil. It's like someone took the horizontal slider on the me customization screen and put it way too far. The color palette does not come together very well. Oh, she's fun. I would also like her as a plush. Why would you give a frog teeth? Surf's up. It hurts my eyes, but I don't know. What the hell is going on with her shirt? Oh, she is top tier. Does Ganon have boob plates? He's fine. She's excellent. He looks dangerous. Questionable. Questionable. A quality friend. It's a shame her shirt is so weird because otherwise I really like this design. Is she an icon? She should be. He's great. The most American character. You can watch the other ones get shoved into the locker. Okay. Uh, what is that face? Oh, I do not like this head shape whatsoever. Why do all the goth girls look so similar? Pretty good. He's alright. He's better. That is such a weird color for a chicken. I love that argyle. I know that's supposed to be a mustache, but there's so much of it. I just love everything. Okay, you know what? Chickens can have weird colors. That's fine. A uh, perfectly good frog. That pear green is one of my least favorite colors and it fits for him. Oh my eyes. He could use a nose, but I like his face. Surf's up. Aww. The one time you shouldn't have a nose and you gave him one? Trying her best. I like the different eyes. He looks like a fun guy. He looks absolutely frightening. Interesting face. Bro, is that a Splatoon reference? Good color scheme. Weird orange slices. Please stop giving frogs lips. I like her. When I think of a perfectly generic Animal Crossing character, I think of him. Ah, you're okay. You're definitely not okay. I think the newer series should have given you a chance. There's just so little here. Another lion. Wait, if she's a peacock, then is she... You know, I'm always a big fan of pretty men. Oh my god, I love her. Uh, 
I'll let him be. Nice. Very nice cyan balanced out by the yellow. Why are all the chickens so good? Everyone likes this character, right? There's nothing to dislike about her. He looks like a Kevin. He's my favorite out of the superhero. Oh, he's good. So it's not a problem with the face shape. I think the other goat was just really ugly. Her body says Halloween, but her shirt says Thanksgiving. Very cute. Everyone who wears that shirt just has good taste. She looks like an asshole, and I mean that in the best way. This is kind of a look, not gonna lie. Yeah, I really like it. Isn't this just Blue Bear? Again, she's fine. And he looks like a Kyle, but like in a positive way. I'll pass this one too. It's really simple, but like through the virtue of being a tiger, it's good. You did the best with what you could. Oh, I really like that turquoise. Can I just say mice deserve so much better? I think he's the best lion I've seen so far. Mm, I can dig the midnight color scheme. When the face is like an emoji, then the nose being gone is kind of okay. It's not bad. It's just that damn shirt. So. Donkey Kong. Okay. Fantastic. Does he and Ankh get along? I hope they get along. You're so close, but the shirt is throwing me off. Mm, it's fine. Mm, she's fine too. This is the first koala I've liked. Look at his scrunched up little face. I like the face markings. Nothing else really stands out though. It's a little dull, but I like her expression. She reminds me of middle school. I don't know if that's a good thing. I can forgive the mouth because of how soft she looks. I like it. Aw, she's like a pineapple. Creepy, but good. I don't see pink and orange too often, but it's a good combination. She's cute. Oh, that's such a good color palette. There should be way more aquatic creatures. Is he a YouTuber? He looks like one. Sanrio, very good. Yeah, I don't think anyone misses you. I love how evil she looks. I know she's a crossover character, but I feel like she could have been a little more interesting. The most generic pink dog. Finally, a pattern outfit with soft colors. Great, amazing. Why aren't more characters just foods? A little generic but cute. That top is so bad. I love me some bottom eyelashes. Everything comes together pretty well. Her design is okay, but her saying makes me like her a little more. Good shirt, but not good on you. Everything is just too big. If you hate her, I hate you. Genuinely did not expect a cat with makeup to show up. Eh. It's definitely the hair that makes him the ugliest mouse I've ever seen. He's pretty good compared to his six brothers. I don't like the scarf, but it's great. He looks like he gives either really good hugs or really uncomfortable ones. I like that her skin is dark because it distracts me from every part of her face. She's all right. I could see her looking way better in a red and blue top. He's fine. The squirrels are good too. Oh my God, there's two of them. He looks depressed. Fair. Fitting that her name is Norma because she looks Perfectly adequate. Nose gay? He looks like he's on vacation, but he's not enjoying himself. First of all, I would buy that shirt. Second of all, we need more aquatic animals. He makes all the other ant eaters look like shit. You're also a pineapple, but not as good. I really like that her hands and feet are differently colored. This is a surprisingly good color scheme for an elephant. I don't think you can fix that. I feel like I'm looking at him through glasses, but like held up a certain way. I like him, but only because of the face he's making. The pig mouth still bothers me, but she looks pretty good. I really like the analogous cool color scheme. Oh, this is a good one. A really different looking horse, but it looks nice. The colors, the clothes, they're all really good. And even the proportions are good. I'm glad he and I are both equally confused. It's not consistent. Orange, brown, and gold is a solid combination. Okay, before I clicked on her, I thought that shirt was a Trump shirt and I can't look at her the same way. Her eyes are a little quirky, but nothing about her is normal. Way too intense. Looks like a squirrel. Good. Y'all really like giving birds the thousand yard stare, huh? Mm, okay. Everyone knows a white suburban woman who looks just like her. They should do more gimmicks where they turn animal parts into hair accessories. See? This is nice. You are straight up Mickey Mouse. Mm, not terrible. A little more not terrible. His entire design is a disaster but I really like those eyes. This is a really good way of having primary colors as your main palette. Really good balance of blues and yellows. People like mimes, I'm not people. This is the most beautiful man I've ever seen. There is too much mouth. Is there a subset of villagers who are just pink and that's it? The lack of stuff going on with her body actually makes her stand out more. There's probably someone out there who likes you. That's a really fun body pattern. Is she wearing a leaf? Aww. Is there a word for like 
androgynous but in a species way basic less basic i really like the rubber hose style eyes really weird eyes for a dog he would actually look a lot better if this was his mouth there were some decisions made i can appreciate some pink and red i can at least admire how balanced the orange and green is here e-boy palette wise everything is well balanced this would have turned out better if the body was also that shade of purple skip i think it's the blonde hair that's throwing me off that or everything else. As soon as you add a theme, it becomes so much more interesting. I would appreciate the bad boy look if he wasn't wearing Ness's shirt. I really like this. Oh, this is a look. He's lying. She looks like your first OC. Is it bad that I think that's kind of cute? That hairline. I'm glad the frogs are getting so many of the fun gimmicks. Even the squirrel template can't- s oh my god, save. Save. <laughs> Even the squirrel template can't save this color palette. Sanrio bad pretty good they're really giving mice all the worst eyes huh the classic penguin oh, you were so close but the shirt doesn't match at all i like him oh this is a good superhero too his proportions they're good evil i have real mixed feelings on this white tigers are good you know this already. I like that he's just a rhino in a one piece. I'm not sure about the colors, but he's cute enough. This lion definitely stands out, but only because he scares me. The evil aesthetic is underused. That's her. That's Rosie Animal Crossing. That's an alright tiger. We need more villagers wearing shirts with their faces on them. Just change the nose to black and you would have a decent design. I'm generally a fan of female characters who just don't have eyelashes. Could have been worse. Okay. This is a perfectly decent design made much better by the fact that her phrase is y'all. There was an opportunity to have a duck wearing a duck shirt but I actually like that it throws you for a loop. I don't think she has any brain cells. Okay. Any species diversity is good with me. That is straight up a person. He only appears in one game and it shows. The distinction between eyes and face is disturbingly unclear. You really can't go wrong with a sky and cloud aesthetic. Mm, okay. I kind of like it. Not anything special. The colors here are great. Creepy pasta. I really like those blue and yellow accents. I don't know what's going on with those eyes. Penguins really deserve all the blue colors. I like him too. An unconventional color palette, but pulled off really well. Maybe she's better off without a nose. We need more characters themed after time periods. Uh-oh. Wow, this straight up looks like a Toy Story character. Sure, I like her. It's so simple, but that expression is so good. I hope people like him. I kind of feel bad that I don't. Not bad. Aw, I like the ferret look. Really intense. It all comes together pretty well. I don't think cats should ever be drawn with an upturned nose. Maybe if I squint my eyes, the face won't bother me. <laughs> oh god. Clearly the superior Tammy. See, what worked about the tomato duck is that her face wasn't textured. That sure is a rhino. His personality is definitely his strong suit. I like light outlines on a dark base. Sure is a bear. I like his jacket. I cannot handle handle how cute some of these elephants are. I'm really glad I don't have to look at her in HD. Sometimes lipstick works, and it works here. Her scarf should be darker. You know what complements a rainbow color scheme? Black and white. I actually couldn't tell he was based on a Sanrio character until I read about it. Why do I keep seeing that shirt? Too easily amused when these villagers look angry. If he's a woolly mammoth, can we have like dinosaurs? Aww. There was potential here with the yellow and green. Is it weird that my first emotional reaction to seeing him was concern? Tigers could be wearing the ugliest shit and they'd still look good. I like that the eyebrows give her a little extra personality. That dress is not flattering. It's so weird that I kind of like it. Pretty typical. Her face is so weird but it's kind of great? Yes, more ancient aesthetics. Same with her sister. She has very pretty eyes. Weird, but okay. I'm not a furry, but like, damn. I can respect this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I kind of like that it's the inverse colors of a penguin. He would be perfectly generic, but those eyes are a little too intense. I'm still not a furry, but he's fine. He's fine too. The animal and the clothes don't match, but like, separately they're really cute i'm still not the colors are so bright but she's so cute i like her little star with a name like wolfgang you think you would have got a shirt that wasn't from a bowling alley carpet this guy looks like a party i know i shouldn't be biased based on the resolution but she is all right i like the asymmetry and the funky horns what is that thing on your neck best gimmick best animal 
The color palette would be excellent if not for that purple. Don't know about the shirt, but they're pretty cute. I've already seen so much fan art for him. Everything about him is so soft. I haven't seen enough fan art of her. So there's a reason why I don't put scores alongside my critiques is because I feel like that places them at too subjective of level. So this tier list serves to be more of my personal preferences when it comes to these characters. So I'm a lot more flexible with whether you think this character deserves to be this high up or whatever. I also think it's useful to examine what makes certain characters better than other characters. So I'll just let the list speak for itself. Because I'm working on this video so close to the release date of the new game that I'm able to actually see some of the updated renders of some of the characters. So here's a very quick overview of what designs that I think improved in certain ways. Which is surprisingly a lot of them, which I'm very happy about. And some renders that I think did a disservice to the original designs.
after looking at almost 500 different character designs, I think that I can safely say that Animal Crossing is a series where character design has a lot of potential and really shines in certain ways. As the series has progressed and as the graphics have improved, I can definitely say that the character design has certainly become much better over time. Even though there are only a few New Horizons villagers that have been released, you can still tell that the quality has already been improved from previous entries in the series. And because Animal Crossing is a franchise that's made a name of itself for being so cute, so creepy, so unique in its own little homely way, I think that it's very appropriate that these character designs do reflect that. There are so many villagers I've looked over so I can't say this critique applies to all of them, but one trend that I have definitely seen in my critiques is that usually it's the palette that needs some work. And personally, maybe it's because this is a child's game and bright colors are just things that are eye-catching. But I do think that some of the saturation could be worked on. But otherwise, this series looks visually fantastic, especially the new entry. And I hope you all had a wonderful time seeing me bumble through all these little animal people. <laughs> and if you know any other series, whether it be video game or animation or whatever, that has a big cast of characters in which I could dive into character design in depth, please let me know in the comments because I really want this series to continue in the future because I love talking about character design and I love having like a neutral perspective looking at certain designs that are beloved by people. In addition, if you have any comments about the structure, maybe some tips that I could learn from, feel free to put those in the comments as well. That's for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time.